Hi, this is Thundi from borderwork.com and today we're doing a review and look at Windows 8 video and music player. So what we have here, um, Microsoft has has basically basically split up uh, the Zoom media player into two halves, a video player and a music player. Uh, of course, you can still get Windows Media Player on your device as well as download the Zoom software on there. But uh, when you actually install Windows 7, you get the video and music player. So let's check both of them out. So clicking on that, the live tile itself, uh, I apologize, I was trying to watch a movie there. Um, this is the uh, home screen right here you can see um, similar to what you have on your Xbox 360 it's all tiled and it scrolls from left to right on the farthest left you have what's now playing and then you have your spot spotlight which is right here and then scrolling through you have your collection which basically is your own content either purchased or your content that you already have in your system and then you have the movie marketplace which you can go into search for movies and the TV marketplace Let's go into the movie marketplace first. Uh, before we do that, when you right click anywhere on the screen, it brings up a little uh, menu which gives you the play options. Um, play, back, forward, repeat, and also you can play on Xbox so you can actually push things to your Xbox once you have the, your Xbox synced uh, with your PC. Uh, go into movie marketplace, show more. Allows you to search for movies according to featured movies. Uh, of course, you do have top rentals. You have uh, genre. Now, the application takes some time to load up, so it's a little slow, sluggish. And of course, you do have studios, so you can actually check by, by different studios, if you will. So, Fox, and if you go through here, uh, the other different studios all the way through. So. Uh, that's something to take notes and uh, we'll head back likewise with the uh, TV marketplace which should be the same again session to uh, featured top genre and network and even in featured you can search between featured and new releases so um, those are the two marketplaces very simple easy to use now looking at uh, your uh, collection now this is where things are a little finicky here so you go to show more um, I haven't purchased anything from the marketplace so of course I have no videos in the movies and I have no TV shows now I have my own personal content and I was able to sync my uh, anime as well as my movies on here and which you think will show up in other now other I can sort through A to Z and once this loads up, this the only thing that actually shows up is my anime collection and my movie collection, because it wasn't bought from this um, store, so it's like to show up on movies. But I can sort through here A to Z or date added, and if you want to search, you of course go to the top right hand corner, pull out the search, and you can search for wherever you want here. But the thing here is that um, it doesn't search. Uh, Properly, so for instance, uh, let's see Naruto. Let's see what we have here. Do you have that Naruto on here? Market show now it showing, shows what's in the marketplace, but not my collection. So that is something very annoying, but um, it does work. Uh, the player doesn't support a lot of codecs, which also is a big bummer. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you quickly once I'm done with the music how you can uh, sync or connect your files to it so we looked at that let's check out the uh, music player now the music player similar build again I was playing the song here so let's head out to that and we'll head out to the main interface so the music interface is similar you have your spotlight here and of course you have what's now playing which I was playing Foo Fighters you have your collection, which is actually shows my collection. I can play my whole collection directly from here. And the music marketplace. Now, if you right click, you do see what you're playing below, feedback, play controls. There's no push uh, ability to the Xbox, but you do have play controls here. Now, if we go into the, um, the marketplace here, uh, you can search by feature, genre, album, and artist. 
So, uh, say for instance, we go into Fire's Movements. We can buy the album, play a preview. Actually, you can actually play on an Xbox. You just have to go into each song to play on the Xbox, and that's pretty much it. In artist details, so which gives you this full look at the artist. It's a nice cover flow, very spread out look. Now, if we head back and we head to my collection here, here um, my music is synced, and I can search for your albums all. But if I click on this as this takes time to populate, I can also search through um, genre. So I can genre of music all the way through. And then I can search for your artists, and I can search for your song. And of course you can also just do the uh, full search option here. Now, the play option, if I, if I actually just click and go into Foo Fighters that I was playing. It gives you the whole cover flow system, what you found with the Zoom player. Uh, there are no volume controls um, on here. Uh, even if you right click, no volume controls come up. Uh, but I do like the cover flow system that shows, you know, Foo Fighters and different songs, and you can click there on that. That should bring up your whole song list. So it's very nice. Graphical instance is pretty cool and it looks good, but there's some parts that are missing. And um, what I want to show you is how you can attach your songs or um, your files to link to either the, the music or or the video player. So if you go into, you have to go into the file manager and look for your files. So this is my anime collection, all my anime movies, uh, shows, and all there. So I have to right click, go to include into library, and push it into videos. And it says anime is already included in the library. So that's how you do that. Uh, movies, same thing include into videos and it's in, already included but never showed up so this is how you would add your music and your movies and your videos now of course you can use any media player you like I download the zoom player which even though you you can download it it only shows up on the window on the uh, you know regular window side not the uh, Metro UI section and you can play your videos and music from here or <clears throat> also you can use Windows Media Player which also plays in that section. Now to find Windows Media Player, all you have to do is right click and go to all app all applications and you will find Windows Media Player here as well as Windows Media Center. So um, you can use any one of those but Microsoft is sort of hidden them behind to give you this very simple look. Now what do I think? I you know I, I do like the idea of making it simple. It's a little too simple. I think the Zoom itself, the Zoom software worked out well. I know they're trying to rebrand it, but my, my suggestion to them is basically to, you know, rebrand it in a different name or just call it, you know, video music player or just call it media player uh, and keep it the same way. Keep it on the one hub where, like your Zoom, like we saw with the Zoom, we have a quick play collection, marketplace, social and we can sort through and it's very easy and you just spread it all out if you spread it out it'd be easy to actually go through and find content which i think would be fine and also uh, allow for users to actually add in their content directly from the app itself and they'll have to go through uh, windows explorer which kind of makes it a little bit more tedious process so that's pretty much it for the uh windows 8 a video and uh, music player if you guys have any questions let us know um, also, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages as well as our new channel, Board Femme. So, um, this is Thunder E saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment.